Good evening to you. Today my broadcast is a little late. I want to get this in time by 6.30 so that at your family hour at 7 p.m. you can listen together. It is only seven minutes. So I'm reading from Genesis chapter 1. We read yesterday how the great wise creator did the beginning. Today we are looking at how he did the water. Now you know water is an amazing molecule, H2O. It is polar. Now to get you to understand, H2S is a gas, hydrogen sulfide, it's a smelly gas in chemical laboratories and it has a heavier molecule. But H2O having a lighter molecule, molecular weight being lighter, it still is a liquid because of the electrical charges that puts it together. So water can go through any living membrane, body membranes, human beings, animals or plants and it is an excellent solvent. So it must be a great wise architect, a great wise chemist, the greatest ever, who made the molecule of water with the, those properties of physical chemistry. Now I want to look at Genesis chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh, big upon Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters so waters below and waters above and the expanse of course was the atmosphere so we have an atmosphere that is just right with enough oxygen enough nitrogen and lightning going through the nitrogen uh, the atmosphere uh, causing nitrogen and oxygen to react together and you get nitrous oxide and the nitrates when it dissolves in water that the plants need and just the right proportion of all the uh, all the gases in its right proportion and even the carbon dioxide in the right proportion and we produce the carbon dioxide that the leaves breathe or leaves take in and produce starch for us water wise creator so that's just a very short description about the expanse of the atmosphere I can tell you many more features about the atmosphere, how right it is. And only Earth has that breathable atmosphere with that percentage of oxygen for living beings and living plants. Then we were told the expanse of water, the water above the expanse of course were the clouds, that the water vapor condense into clouds and the clouds are at that exact right balance so that the weight of the cloud is borne by the volume of air displaced. Uh, which is the great principle Archimedes found in water about objects in water so this is the object of clouds how the clouds balance themselves and how the clouds move across the globe particularly let's say across the equator uh, you know the doldrums the winds called the doldrums that from that that you get the expression down in the doldrums every country get the monsoons at the right time so we have a northeast monsoon and a southwest monsoon so that's about the expanse of water above, which would be the water in the clouds. And the water cycle balances water in the clouds and water down below so well. And so here we are told uh, from the waters which were above the expanse and it was God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening and there was morning a second day. Let the waters below the heavens be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear. So when the waters below the heavens gathered into one place, that was the ocean, and the ocean was born, or the, the lashing of the ocean was born by the sand that you get in the seashore. Now sand is the geometric particle, a crystal if you may, and these little little sands put together bear the onslaught of the waves. That's how wise our God was. So that's about the boundaries and it looks as if there's a law saying don't violate the boundaries. So th this is about the water down below in the ocean and a little bit about some other water in the earth crust and which is supported by the foundation of the tectonic plates inside. You get huge reservoirs of oil like oil oceans and water oceans inside the earth also besides the water on the surface of the earth which is the oceans this is how the globe which 
rotates around its own axis in a 24-hour day, it completes the circle, and it, it, it moves at a sp furious rotating speed, but we don't feel it because of the way the globe has been constituted with enough liquid inside it, over it, to absorb uh, the shock waves. That's how the, uh, the ocean has waves because of the rotating movement of the globe around its own axis in one 24 hours. And of course, it is rotating in its own orbit around the sun and that takes one full year. Uh, so that's a little scientific description of how precise all this has been done. And in the earth crust, inside near the tectonic plates are these massive oil oceans and in 2008, under President Obama's, during President Obama's time, British Petroleum obtained permission, we don't know how, to drill deep into the ocean bed in the Gulf of Mexico, that would be the Atlantic Ocean, to get at the deep oil. They did not know the uh, designers, creators, wisdom, keeping deep oil down there. They managed to drill in and billion, millions of barrels of oil poured out, spewed out, uh, because it was under such high pressure deep inside in the ocean bed, deep inside the ocean bed, and it was thick, dense oil that could not be used. And it flooded out the Florida landscape, I mean the seashore, and lost a lot of marine life, fishing industry, and so on, when man did not regard the God set boundaries. Similarly, there are vast oceans of water inside the earth globe, uh, all in the wisdom of God to keep the earth rotating. So that's a little description about the second day, how what water is like and the water cycle, how it is maintained in a delicate balance and uh, all this is because of a wise creator's wisdom. Tomorrow we will look at a little more about the ocean bed itself. And uh, so since we have understood the wise creator, this wise creator is the one who came as a babe uh, at, uh, and, and that we think of as the incarnation, the Christmas time. And he's the creator God who came in human form. And it is he who gave his life for us on the cross of Calvary. So in fact, the laminin protein that is part of the cell wall has a cross shape all along as if a little sign that this creator one day would come to be sacrificed for us, offered for us on the cross. So these are some spiritual thoughts on the created order, how wisely God has done. You can always say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. You are the wise creation, creator. Yours is the wise creation. And in John chapter 1, verse 1, we hear, in the beginning was the Word, Word was with God, and the Word was God. All that was, nothing was made without Him. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. For a detailed description of this, I have two books for you. Uh, uh, I have Wonder and Wisdom, and I have Life, Light and Love. And you can obtain these books from Vijitayapa Bookshop, or from Sarasavi Bookshop, or from Brookside Bookshop. And if you want to have any of my clips on COVID science, science and reason, happy hour or digital science, I'm Dr. Lyle Mendes. You can please send a WhatsApp to plus 9477. 4959214. Thank you for the evening lesson. Tomorrow evening we will have this at 6.30. Thank you for listening.